Welcome to another episode of Maker Monday. Uh, I'm Sean and this is Bernd, he's a sysadmin at uh, Pesla. And today we're going to be doing a wake-up light. Um, so tell us more about the functionality of the wake-up light that we're going to be doing today. Yeah. The wake-up light we built is uh, like an alarm. In the morning, it make, don't make loud noises like your mobile phone. So it starts on a low-level lighting and it brightens up over time. So you should wake up from the light, not from the loud. <laughs> okay, all right. So it's a more natural way to wake up. Yes. Cool. What are the steps that we're going to follow today? Okay, um, the first step is uh, put together the hardware, put in the software on mm -hmm. the hardware, mm -hmm. uh, integrate it on Home Assistant, and then we're done. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So you mentioned the hardware. So what hardware are we talking about here? Yeah. Um, First of all, for easiness, we've bought a light mm -hmm. um, and removed all the stuff which was built in here from the manufacturer. We will uh, build in some LEDs, also called uh, NeoPixels, okay. uh, about 16, I think. Um, yeah, and some microcontroller to control these LEDs. It's a Lidunia stick. Um, we could use some others like a Feather or a Node MCU, okay. it doesn't matter. But um, this one has an advantage, um, it has a power output. Okay. Um, we can uh, put through the power from USB directly to the LEDs without killing this hardware because mm -hmm. we need a lot more power than this device. Right. So Lidunia is easy to use, plug it in the computer and... Uh, Off you go. Yeah. Cool. The next step is then the software. Yes, but I would say first we plug together the hardware. That may be a good idea. First of all, we put the LEDs on this uh, socket. It's, I've already soldered this. Uh, this has three solder pins. It's no big deal, I think. We show you soldering in one of the next episodes. Then we have to connect it. Yeah, three wires. So we take here the ground and the power. And we use one data pin here. OK. That's all. So you cool. can put on this glass and we're have ready a cool to light go. with wireless. Cool. I would say we go to the software now. Mm -hmm. um, let's start. Let's do it. We can put the software on this device with the Arduino EDA, but yeah, uh, it doesn't deserve the meaning IDE because it's a text editor with a compiler. So I use the Visual Studio Code. It has a really nice plugin system. For this, we can uh, use the whole Arduino framework in the Visual Studio, but with a nice IDE. Okay. IDE. So um, let's do that. You download it here from code.visualstudio.com. Um, I've already downloaded and installed. It's really boring. Nobody wants to see this. So um, after you've installed the Visual Studio, you can use Platform IO. It's a cool plugin for all Arduino devices for this ESP is for all Arduino, yeah, it supports about 400 boards, so yeah, it's cool. So let's start up the Visual Studio Code. So um, if you don't have installed it, I've already done this, you go to View Extensions. Then you can put in here on the Marketplace um, a platform. I know. So you get to get it here and here, then our install button, I have an uninstall button. Push that button and it will start downloading all you need. You have to wait, it's make a big download, so I have a big, big internet connection, it gets fast or maybe it uh, needs some time. So after this, we get um, this view, the platform I.O. view and can start a new project. So we want to do a new project, so we start a project, give it a name, call it Wake Up Light. And yeah, 484 boards. So the Lidunia stick isn't uh, listed in the sports, uh, in the sport list, so take uh, one which it's nearly this, so it's a expressive, um, 
8266. Oh, so I think um, and this one is nearest to the Ledunia. So if your board isn't listed, take one which is similar. Mm -hmm. Normally, most will work or you have to make some tweaks. So let's do that. Now uh, the IDE will start and downloading all the stuff you need for a project with this chip. So you don't have to download it all single for the Arduino IDE. It will do everything for you. At once, cool. Yeah, uh, cool tool. So, okay, it's really fast for me because <laughs> I've you already download downloaded it, yeah. it before. Um, good, so we can start a project. This is our project folder here. I can place in libs. Here gets the source code in. So here are the configuration for your board. If you have to tweak something, do it here. But we don't need it for the Ledunia. And um, here you get a plain example. First of all, remove the CPP ending and um, change it to Eno because we want to use the Arduino framework. So we you don't have, have extension. to write the perfect, clean uh, C++, so we can use the easier Arduino version. So that's all about the ID. Okay. It's set up. Um, we don't have to do anything more. Maybe later. Okay. Let's take a look. So uh, what do we do now with the software? We can go and download some frameworks and write lines of code and code and code and code um, for something anybody other has already done. So there's a cool uh, open source tool which can perfectly control this LEDs and fits all our needs. So we start this first ESP project simple as possible for this yeah. episode and I think we use the provided tool. So it's uh, from Brew Automation. Okay. Um, thanks for this nice work. Um, Good work, Brew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, he built a uh, veranda lighting uh, for his house with uh, some effects. It's really okay. cool. Cool. Um, and as, as usual, we'll put uh, links to all of this stuff yeah, uh, on sure. the video. Um, so we can copy this code. We don't have to change big things. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, we could write all this by ourselves, but yeah, we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Good. Um, here we need some libraries to use this. Um, it's already here. So let's uh, take a look how to install a library. You go to the platform IO starting site, which is here. Um, say libraries. And then you can search them. We need fast LED. It's a um, controlling library for LEDs. So you can search it here. Okay, hit it and then press install. So, yeah, it's already installed. I've, I've done this one time before. Um, <laughs> Not his first rodeo, folks. <laughs> okay, um, that's super easy. Okay. You don't have to use the internet or something, and that's super easy. So, you need three of them the fast lead, the pub sub client, and the Arduino JSON. The FastLED controls the LEDs. The PubSub client is for the MQTT and Arduino JSON is for yeah, JSON Jason. objects. Um, this we need. So um, now the configuration. We need a um, wireless LAN SSID. So put in here your wireless SSID. Mm -hmm. You put in here your wireless password. And no, this is not my wireless password. I was just wondering, I was about to write that down. So um, you put in the address of your MQTT server. This is, in our case, the address of our home assistant. Mm. So um, put in here your IP address, maybe something like 10.00, whatever, 10, use yours. Um, put in your username, I type here username, and I type in here password, and no, no, it's not my password. <laughs> use something safe. Good, that's all we have to do. So we have all libraries, we have the code, um, we've put in our data, and let's try the compilation. So you can hit this small button here for build. So it will start up and 
yeah, compile all the stuff. Yellow is okay. Yellow is okay. there. I was yes. just about to ask. Red is a problem. Red is bad. Is Red is mostly bad. Okay. Good. Uh, I think it will need some 30 seconds. Or okay. Here is uh, success. Everything finished. Okay. And uh, now we have to put it on the device. So I removed this heavy cabling um, <laughs> for flashing. Put it on your <laughs> computer. Yeah, I like the Ledunians, it's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> um, good. Wait until it's initialized. You can check the hardware manager. You get a COM port. On the Arduino IDE, you have to search for the right port. And uh, yeah. Um, Platform IO will do everything for you mostly, so it will, will find the Ledunia. I hope so. <laughs> so you press upload here, and it will uh, search for the stack. All right. And yeah, you found it. No, you compile it again. Okay. Sorry. Um, now you will search the skirk. So he already started uploading. It detected it's on COM3. So okay, looking good so far. It's a really nice framework. Mm. So let's wait until it's finished. Okay, uh, Sean. Before we uh, move on, uh, I forgot one point. Okay. So we have to configure MQTT topic. Uh -huh. So um, I've already installed it on this device, but here, uh, th this one is uh, one for the state of this device. It sends back his state. And this one is for uh, new commands you want to push to the device. But So you can change it here, change what you want, but don't forget it. We need it later in Home Assistant. Okay. So I've used LED strip because it's a LED strip. Maybe it's round. Okay, it's a strip um, for the wake up light. So my topic is LED strip wake up set for set commands. Mm -hmm. So okay, um, we've pushed the software on it. So um, let's do again the heavy cabling. <laughs> so it's three pins. It's really heavy. And um, put on all this cool uh, glass but uh, we've uh, uh, yeah you, this will uh, don't uh, fit in here so ah. I've used my 3d printer to make a new socket for this light so very nice this uh, fits perfectly fits per yeah it's not perfect but it's okay um, yeah this will cost you some sense and you get it it's cool really cool so you put on the glass and there you go. the light is finished. So now let's remove it from the computer. Mm -hmm. So we don't need a data line. So. We're going to go into a plug socket now. Yes, to prove it's <laughs> no free <fake>. wireless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the device boots up now and logs into the wireless LAN and make all this uh, the MQTT login with mm -hmm. the provided data. That was the first part of Maker Monday's Wake Up Light episode. Join us in two weeks' time when we configure the Wake Up Light with Home Assistant. We'll see you then.